Well, in order to learn WordPress, you need to have a WordPress site. So if you've jumped straight to this video and you don't have a WordPress site, go back in the course a little bit, find the video that will help you install WordPress, and then come back here. If you've got a WordPress site already, well, terrific. Let's go ahead and log in. Go ahead and log in with your credentials. I'm working on a local host site, which means it's on my computer, so it's going to be very, very fast. This is the WordPress dashboard on a brand new installation. So let's take a quick peek and see what's going on. Across the top, we've got some links to WordPress documentation and WordPress.org, a link to this site with a visit site link that'll let us take a peek at our front page. Coming back, we can go straight to dashboard, themes, widgets, or menus, any system messages, and then a link to make new posts, media, page, or users. Over here at the top right, I've got my own profile information and the ability to log out. And then I've got some screen options here. Out of the box, they show you everything that's going on. If I'm not interested, for instance, in the welcome message, well, then I can just remove it there. But we'll take a look at that in just a minute. If I'm not interested in WordPress events and news, again, I can just uncheck that. And you can see that as I check and uncheck these things, then they disappear off my dashboard. Well, we'll leave them all turned on for a moment more. There's also a help menu here that takes us to all of the documentation over at WordPress.org. Well, as you noticed, this is the welcome message, and it gives us some tasks that we can do right off the start. You can customize your site, write your first blog, view your site, or manage widgets, etc., etc. You can also dismiss it right there. At a glance gives me a quick peek at what's going on on my site. I have one post, one comment, one page, and I'm using the 2019 theme. Lastly, let me point out that these are collapsible, draggable, droppable, and rearrangeable. So I can move that back over here, move that down there, take activity, put it up there, and take the WordPress news and put it over there. And instantly, I've got a new dashboard. When you add new features to your WordPress site via plugins, you might find some other dashboard widgets here that you can use, rearrange, or even hide if you want to make the dashboard area do exactly what you need it to do. Finally, over here on the left, you have your main menu. Dashboard itself, the updates link will tell you if there's any updates to plugins or themes, posts, media pages, comments. We're going to touch on all of these in upcoming videos. You can collapse this menu, but for now, since we're beginners, I encourage you to leave it so we can find what we need as quickly as possible. That's the WordPress dashboard.